Hey everyone, welcome back to Sun Bitcoin, where we dive deep into military tech, defense strategies, and groundbreaking innovations. Today we're going to talk about a legend in the sky, the B-52 Strato Fortress. This bomber has been soaring through the skies for over seven decades, and some people are asking, why don't we just build new ones? Well, that's what we're here to break down. First things first, the B-52 has been a key player in the US Air Force since the 1950s. That's right. This bomber has been in service for almost 70 years, and it's expected to stay operational until at least 2050. It's a flying relic from the Cold War that still packs a punch today. Right now, there are 58 B-52s actively serving with the 2nd and 5th bomb wings, plus a few more in reserve. And get this, some of the airmen flying these bad boys might be the great grandkids of the original crews. That's how long this beast has been around. But here's where it gets interesting. Russia's been doing something a little different. They've resumed production of their old-school bombers like the 295 and 2160, rolling new versions off the line. So, why isn't the US doing the same with the B-52? The simple answer? It's just not practical. The production lines for the B-52 were shut down back in the 1960s. If you wanted to start building new B-52s today, you'd have to rebuild those entire factories from scratch. And that's a huge cost. One that just doesn't make sense. Imagine trying to find the original blueprints, the specs, and the subcontractors from 70 years ago. Most of them don't even exist anymore. Plus, Boeing and Rolls-Royce, who are working on upgrading the engines, are using cutting-edge tech like 3D printing just to install the new parts. And speaking of upgrades, the Air Force is sinking billions into keeping these bombers flying. We're talking new sensors, new crew workstations, new engines, and even a privacy screen for the lavatory. Yeah, you heard that right. On top of all that, the future of strategic bombing is already here with the B-21 Raider. The Raider is the next-gen stealth bomber that's set to replace not only the B-1B and B-2, but eventually the B-52 as well. And with the rise of unmanned aircraft, the B-52 could very well be one of the last long-range strategic bombers that humans actually fly. So, the big takeaway? Sure, you could try to build new B-52s, but it'd be like bringing back old battleships. It's technically possible. But why would you when newer, more advanced aircraft are already on the horizon? Let's face it. The B-52 has earned its legendary status. But its days are numbered. The future of air warfare is stealthier, smarter, and most likely, unmanned. So while we can keep upgrading the Strata Fortress for now, building new ones just doesn't make sense. What do you think? Should the Air Force stick with the B-52 or move full throttle into the future with the B-21? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies, and stay tuned to Sun Bitcoin for the latest in military tech, defense, and all things cutting edge. Also remember, peace out.